How's the draw card been going with the new single out? Really good. Overwhelmingly. I went overseas, but leading up to that, it was just so flat out. A lot of opportunities were presenting themselves. And while I was overseas, Triple J picked up the track, which is pretty cool. Being a you know, fairly influential station in Australia, it's a good one to get on. And yeah, just had heaps of good feedback from it. Everyone seems really stoked. I mean, we're stoked because it's been ages since we've released something and we're all happy with this track. It's really energetic and lots of fun. Yeah. Well, it's been like well over a year, hasn't it? You guys have been working on, is it an EP or an album that you've got coming up soon? It's an EP. It's a five-track EP we've got coming out. Right. You have released the first single, Kids, of course, which is getting airplay all over the place, as you mentioned on Triple J, as well as a lot of other community stations and things. So when exactly is EP going to be released? Uh, in November. In November. Yep. Right. And that's all I can say so far. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk you know, too I much. I want to keep it. On, I want to keep it on the DL just to. Yeah. You are doing an East Coast tour for the singles. Yeah. August eighth, your tour kicks off in Toowoomba, which you are mm-hmm. from the Sunshine Coast, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Right, and like you guys. You've been going for about eight years and you haven't ever considered relocating? No, I, I mean, it's crossed our minds uh, quite some time ago. We were considering relocating to Melbourne, but I guess with, like, we sort of all discussed it and it's, it's not that far to drive to go to, like, Brisbane for us. Brisbane's quite close. And, I mean, if, if we did relocate to a, a capital city, then you're in that capital city, but you still got to travel to other cities to tour and that. And like when you go on tour, you're driving anyway. Like, and we all sort of, you know, we just love it, love the beach and the climate up here, and all our friends are here. And, oh, and cool. you know, you got the internet, the phone calls. It's pretty. Ten or fifteen years ago, it was probably more relevant having to relocate to a capital city. But um, yeah, oh. I, don't, I don't feel it's as relevant but obviously we haven't had a massive success and we haven't moved to a city so maybe it is <laughs> <laughs> you guys have played with the likes of uh you know taking back sunday and unwritten law i mean yeah. that's that's still that's a lot of hype for well, a guy like me i guess that's pretty impressive <laughs> yeah is there any highlights there oh definitely oh the taking back sunday boys are just loveliest dudes super friendly unwritten law absolute legends we we got to play with them it was the last tour before they all well, Scott Russo, the lead singer in the band, and sort of, the, I think he's pretty much the main songwriter. Yeah, he. the rest of the band, oh, it was a full original band, except for the summer, but when we toured with them. And it was great. We got to meet them all and hang out and chat, and Russo, like, took us under his wing because we did oh, wow. the shows with them, and then they were on, like, a week break before they went down to Melbourne. And Russo just had this apartment in, well, they all sort of stayed in different rooms in Greenmount on the Gold Coast. So we just got to hang out with him and... Yeah, he took us around and, yeah, went surfing and drank a lot and, yeah, jumped off things and just talked shit, listened to music. And it was pretty cool hanging out with him because he's, like, we all grew up listening to Unwritten Law and sort of idolising them and, yeah, and then we get to support him and then he's, like, stoked that we're there and tells us to stay and, yeah, takes us out with him. And, yeah. And now, like, we still stay in contact now. Every time he comes to Australia, like, he'll send us a text message or a Facebook message saying, hey, dudes, how many tickets do you want on the door? Are you just coming? <laughs> I'm staying here. Come and bring a bottle of vodka and come down before the show and we'll have some dinner and put you in on into the show sort of thing. Jeez, so, that's <laughs> awesome. We yeah. sort of established a pretty good relationship. He's a fun dude. He's, he's pretty yeah. crazy. He's, that's amazing. <laughs> Your brother's in the band, isn't he? Yeah, my younger brother, yeah. He plays drums. Has, have you both been in the band the whole time? Yeah. Is that an interesting dynamics, having two brothers in the band? I think it's really good. Like, it's, well, it's definitely helped us stay together for this long. And, you know, we've both sort of got a common goal. I mean, we do sort of cross paths every now and again in our ideas and stuff like that. But um, but it's good because we can, you know, have a, I mean, we don't, we don't like punch on or anything. We're not no. we weren't really <laughs> brought up. That in that sort of aggression, it's more if if it does get heated, it's more of a verbal thing, you know. I mean, I might bite my tongue and just think like, <laughs> <laughs> or, or say something, yeah, just a bit of bitching. 
And, yeah. And, but then at yeah. least you know you can always make up because you're brothers. That's it. You, you, you can punch them in the head and wake up the next day and they're still your brother. And, you know, it's not like... <laughs> You just yeah. said there was no punching. <laughs> Not that we do punch each other in the head. So then we'll, you do have the single kids out at the moment and you are touring, as I mentioned, and you're starting in Toowoomba on the 8th of August and then you're doing another show in on the Sunshine Coast and going to Brisbane, the Gold Coast and Sydney. Then you'll be going to Newcastle and then you are heading to Victoria the 28th of August in Bendigo and the 29th at Frankston in the Pally Bar and the 30th you will be at the Reverence Hotel in Melbourne. Yep. Have you played yep. Melbourne very often? Uh, we haven't played Melbourne in a while, but uh, a couple of years ago we sort of frequented there quite a bit and we had some really good shows. Yeah. You've been going for eight years. You had four releases. Uh, what keeps you guys going? What keeps you motivated? Just like wanting to continue to put out new music, I guess, and, and you know, show people like, oh, look, look what we've look what we've created this time. You know, like, and I like I get this feedback from other people as well as I sort of think it in myself. Like our music, you know, a lot of bands every sort of release sounds very very similar to previous ones. But I feel our sort of stuff. I don't know. I don't like to sit on one sort of sound for too long I mean it's not I'm not recreating the wheel or changing our whole style or anything each time we write a new release but you know I don't think it's ever exactly the same feel and maybe sometimes genre even well you would be the main songwriter so what does motivate your songwriting like lots of stuff that I sort of see and interact with in everyday life really just just existing in this world is one thing, like and the impacts of the government and people around you and the decisions you make and it's just life, really. I think that more recently, most most of my sort of songwriting has been about just life and the shit, I guess, or the good good and the bad you got to deal with and, yeah. So then, like, what was Kids about? Like, I've listened to the song, but I haven't actually really listened to the words. Do you have kids now, or you just got a lot of people around you that do? No, well, it's not actually about having, like, no, I don't have kids. Um, yeah, lots of my friends, I guess, are starting to have kids or started to have kids a, you know, a couple of years ago. But, but no, I don't have any kids. And it's not really about kids or about having kids or anything like that. It's more of a, like, a reflection on oneself, like, to <clears throat> take a step back from now I guess and, and look back and think like remember when, when we were kids like not we as in me we as in all of us like and how life was easier like you didn't have these pressures of like you, you know you might have had bullying and things like that at school but like I mean when you're a real young kid you didn't have pressures of anything like you didn't have a grasp of what you know uh, corporations were, were doing and the government was trying to change things all the time you, you were just you were just doing your thing, you know, you didn't really care and you had all these dreams and, and like, really simple things were so much fun and exciting. Whereas as you get older, things get a lot more complicated and, yeah. Well, that's good. So is that like you said you don't want all your songs to sound the same? So what sort of an indication is Kids to what we'll hear on the rest of the EP? Kids is probably the more sort of harder-edged rock and roll -y, so is this what you, is this the rock and roll -y sort of track is that what you sort of mean like the sort of sound and genre it might be is that what you mean yeah yeah and yeah so then they don't all sound like that sort of hardy edge like rock and roll sound there's a, there's a couple that are and there's you know one that's a bit more straight up sort of hooky and yeah i don't know they're, they're all a little bit different they're all, they're all sort of we'll have they're to. all draw card they're all very draw card but they've all got a bit of you know a different sort of influence for each each song. Yeah, and I suppose we'll have to get the EP when it comes out and find out. Yeah. So then, like you do, you have the tour, you've got the EP coming out later in the year, and people can actually find out more about you at drawcard.net, yep. and you are facebook.com forward slash drawcard. That's the one. And you do have events set up for every show of the tour. Yeah, and if people could go on and... And if they want to come, click going, and there's tickets. Uh, I think most of the tickets are available to most of the shows now. Yeah. And if you do go to drawcard.net, you've got 
links to your iTunes and Bandcamp. Yep. And you've got T-shirts and things and hoodies there for sale as well. Sure, buddy, do. The cap the and the... I sent one off this afternoon, actually. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. It has been great talking to you. Thank you very yes. much. Yes, thank you very much, guys. Cheers for the chat. It's and been wonderful. People should definitely go and get hold of a copy of Kids by Drawcard. Check out yeah. drawcard.net and get tickets to one of your shows coming up on your tour. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. All yeah. right, have a good night. You too. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.